Hello, KDE Applications 18.12 have just been released and today we're going to look at five of the new things which we can find which stands out for me. There's many more like overall inside this application. So the first application feature which we're going to look at and this is for me one of the main most important ones is in Dolphin. Dolphin the file manager so let's open it make it full screen and you will already see the difference yes the two icons of the files inside the directory and if you go closely you will see the quality is top 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 so it's very clear what's going on there and small there still there so it is quite cool and if you go to the different views you can see it clearly there, and if you open it up, you will see I added some files here, some presentations, so the library, library office icons are clearly displayed, the previews, thumbnails, as well as app images, which I didn't show, and PDFs. So it's basically everything, and it's really, really cool. And if you open up a PDF, we can look at the next part of this new features in 18.12 so as you can see it's a creative commons pdf it's a code of the internet so let's go and now we can basically add our own notes anywhere we want inside the pdf which is quite cool so it can't remove some of the things inside the PDF, but you can add your notes. So for that we have to go to Tools, click on Review, and then go to this T. So you have many several options here. But I'm going to go to the T, Tab Writer, and now you can click anywhere you want. And say, this is interesting. And okay, so as you can see, it's here. And if you want to find all your notes all over, you can go to reviews and you will see all your pages, who made them, the notes, and you know, what function, what to. So that's actually really neat. So I'm going to save this change. And now I'm going to go to the next part and I'm going to take a screenshot of my desktop I press function and print screen and the new feature here is you can save it not only not only in PNG but in many other formats so I'm going to choose JPEG and I'm going to save it to my desktop now the last two features which I'm going to have a look at as you can see it's saved here and you can edit it, you can change the red eye if there's a picture of a person inside the office with a red eye with the blink you can fix it up by going to edit and reduce red eye <laughs> pretty clear stuff so I'm not going to really focus on that so the next two I'm going to look at is the calculator app as well as Kate and that's all so for calculator, I'm going to install both apps. Firstly, calculator key calc and install the password. I use Ubuntu for nearly all my virtual machine passwords. Simple and sticks in my brain <laughs> and I'm also going to install Kate in the advanced text editor there we go so I'm also going to install this this might take a few seconds longer but while it's installing I'm going to go to my calculator app and Let's have a look at it. So in the past, 
let's go to a simple mode. Any mode is fine. If you go 9 times 9, it's 81, but you can't. Just press the equal logo of God, what is called, icon. And, and it will not go 9 times 9 times 9 times until you finish. But they add a feature in it that you can do that, that you can click as many times on the equalization icon and it will just make it more and more. So let's say 9 times 9 equals equals equals. So that's quite a neat feature which I thought was there, but it wasn't there. So it is great that they've added it. And Kate, the last app I'm going to look at is they said you can see by the terminal where you are inside your file system. I can't see that function anywhere. I saw it in the video, but I don't see it anywhere. But what I do see is, let's open up a file on our computer. So don't break it, just open it up. So I'm going to go to my sources. Let's go to app config. So as you can see, it shows you exactly in how many lines there is and what number you are in. So it's a bit of a bad example. <laughs> so let's just go to one another. Sources, as you can see, it's quite a lot. So here you can click and you will automatically by default the code. You were able to enable it in the past also, but here it's by default there that you can immediately see what line and column you are in. So that is quite a neat feature and I'm pretty impressed by it. So yeah, I think they've done something right and if you, if you press Ctrl V, it closes tabs and so on. So you can close them all, but it will still stay open. So this is quite neat. I think they've done a great job and yeah, I'm using KDE in live 18.12 to edit this video. So I'm also impressed with that. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.